Hi everyone. Today we'll be speaking with Dr. A.K. Anand. Dr. Anand is a senior oncologist at Onco.com panel. He's a seasoned radiation oncologist and has 30 years of experience. Among his various specializations, he specializes in treating gynecological cancers, including breast cancer. He's treated thousands of patients in his career and is trained internationally, most notably at New York Hospital, Cornell Medical Center in the US. And today he's going to talk about some of the key questions breast cancer patients have. Thank you, Dr. Anand. Thank you for joining us. So let me start with asking you the first question, which most patients have. What are the different types of breast cancer that exist today? So if we talk of uh, how a person presents, then we say, okay, early breast cancer, or we may say locally advanced breast cancer, and we may say that the disease has spread, so we call it a metastatic breast cancer. So these are the usual clinical types, how person presents to the doctor. But if we are talking of pathological types, then they are different. Means after biopsy, there are different pathological types of breast cancer, like infiltrating duct carcinoma, like lobular carcinoma, like medullary carcinoma, papillary carcinoma. But for all uh, common knowledge, it is the early breast cancer, locally advanced, and metastatic. Okay. So, in general, doctor, what are the different treatment modalities that exist for all these stages of breast cancer? So, if it is an early breast cancer, uh, we will first like to do surgery. Mm -hmm. But surgery has undergone a big change in the last about 20 years or so that uh, nowadays very few people are getting total removal of the breast mm -hmm. which is called mastectomy and more and more women are coming forward for breast conservation surgery. Mm -hmm. So in breast conservation we conserve the breast, we only remove the lump mm -hmm. so that psychological, social adjustment is better for the patient and patient also seems to like not losing the breast mm -hmm. so those patients uh, prefer to have breast conservation surgery okay. but if it is a locally advanced tumor then many times we have to give chemotherapy up front try to reduce the tumor and then try and save the breast if we can save the breast after chemotherapy, we'll again do breast conservation surgery. Mm -hmm. But if we find that chemotherapy has not worked that well, then we have to remove the breast completely, which is called mastectomy. Okay. That's very helpful, doctor. So for what kinds of cases is radiation treatment advised? So radiation treatment will be required for a large majority of patients. Mm -hmm. So all early breast cancer patients who have been operated they all will be treated with radiation because there are much higher chances of recurrence if we don't give radiation. So the best results like 90% local control, 95% local control is achieved with breast conservation surgery followed by radiation. Similarly, for locally advanced breast cancer after maybe chemotherapy, they undergo surgery and after that also even after complete removal of the breast radiation has to be given to achieve best local controls when that radiation treatment is uh, so complex what are some of the complications that uh, are exhibited when patient undergoes radiation treatment so fortunately the radiation complications have drastically reduced uh, in the last 10 15 years with the advent of high technology radiation like what we call intensity modulated radiotherapy in short form we call IMRT or image guided radiotherapy which is called IGRT. So with that we are able to save the lung, we are able to save the other side of the breast, we are able to save the heart. So in some patients where IMRT is unable to save the heart then we do gating. Uh, the gating procedure is that radiation is synchronized with your breathing cycle. So when we breathe in, the heart goes away from chest wall. So we deliver radiation only in the inspiratory phase when we are breathing in. So it is a highly complicated form of delivering radiation but it is highly safe uh, to protect heart. Because nowadays 
a lot of breast cancer patients are surviving for long 15 years 20 years and breast complications are sorry the heart complications occur later on after 10 15 years so if we save heart today heart will be safe after 15 years if we are not saving heart sufficiently today then lady can have heart problems after 10 15 years so it's very very important to choose today which patient needs gating which patient needs IMRT, which patient needs IGRT. So a well-informed radiation oncology department should be able to tell that you require IGRT or you require gating uh, so that long-term safety can be taken into consideration. Given that uh, technology has progressed so much and there are so many different uh, treatments now available, would you recommend patients to get a second opinion? Uh, uh, nowadays, you have plenty of opportunity for second opinion, you have social sites, you have multiple hospitals where you can go and you have second opinion sites where people can direct you to the uh, uh, expert centers with expertise because all centers are not equally equipped. Mm -hmm. All centers don't have equal capability. So if you want second opinion, go to a higher center and try to get uh, the best possible opinion. Doctor, this is one of the common questions that we get. Uh, what are some of the myths that breast cancer patients have that are absolutely false? So myths are that, uh, you know, most of the time the delay is that they are very uh, scared of losing the breast. Mm -hmm. So say they immediately will go to a doctor he will ask for breast removal, so they, they keep on delaying the diagnosis. So now as I told you, breast uh, preservation or breast conservation is now possible in majority of the patient. Therefore, we should not uh, delay the diagnosis. And we should rather come forward and participate in screening because breast cancer is preventable. But in India, I have seen not many ladies go for preventive health checks. They avoid, they are scared, they feel it is unnecessary expense. But a yearly mammography can prevent many breast cancers because you will detect some benign disease, you will get the lump excise, cancer is prevented. Or you will detect cancer at a very, very early stage, stage one, where it is 90 to 100 percent curable. So it is very much important to break this myth and um, go for early screening. Other myths like uh, our social taboos that if I have a breast then what family will think, what husband will think, what children will think, those myths are widespread. But that only can be addressed through, uh, I would say, social talks. Uh, television shows or even shows by celebrities you know Manisha Koirala got recently so if they come forward and say that oh we had a breast cancer and now it's all over and we had a not too bad a time for treatment this will encourage population to um, go ahead and get treatment early that's very insightful doctor and one last question that I would like to ask you is uh, what is the advice that you would like to give uh, breast cancer patients and their family members that allows them to cope up with their disease better? So this is a very tricky question that uh, these patients need a lot of family support, support from husband, support from family, support from children because Everybody, when I have seen in the first visit, everybody is on pressurizing the patient. No, 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 we don't want to take any risk. Do the complete removal. Mm -hmm. They pressurize the patient. Don't, don't go for breast conservation or breast conserving surgery. Go for total removal. We don't want to take a chance. While the reality is survivals are same. Mm -hmm. So we should listen to patient. Patient is kept on one side, family takes decision. So we should bring in patient for decision making. Family should also put patient first, ask her what she wants. And if she wants breast conservation and it is safe enough, we should go for that. So this is a very uh, big advice for family to take a little bit back step 
and let patient take her own decisions patient and immediate husband wife whatever but here most of some of the time elders take decision the patient many times is sitting outside and they just take a decision mm -hmm. so i think it's a it's a very and then we should not be uh, leaving the treatment in the middle mm -hmm. that also is seen in many many times in t uh, tier 2 tier 3 towns not so in metropolitan cities that they take some treatment and they run away they don't come for the rest of the treatment either they develop some side effect they say no there were too many side effects we left the treatment so important thing is to complete the treatment talk to your doctor <clears throat> talk to your counselor mm -hmm. we have now psycho social counselors mm -hmm. so if you are not satisfied with doctor go to a counselor right. they will tell you more about what to feel and if we are coming for full treatment then coming for checkups and follow ups mm -hmm. so i think these are the whole gamut is needed but at the same time we don't want to instill any fear mm -hmm. that get this get that so nowadays fortunately in the follow up most of the american cancer guidelines canadian cancer guidelines they are not recommending too many tests okay they just you say you visit doctor he will do physical check and maybe a mammography once a year that's it you don't have to get too many pet scans and ct scans and mri every time i they feel so scared coming to the hospital what doctor is going to order so we have to remove those apprehensions mm -hmm. and tell them that after treatment you are kind of at par with any general population mm -hmm. and they are getting a mammography once a year you also have to get once a year mm -hmm. they are also at same age you are also same so try to mitigate their apprehension thank you so much dr anand really appreciate your taking out the time thank you thank